Don't overdo it. Take over. I'm coming! Except that mine can discern far more than any pet. So, Red? No. I didn't even say anything yet. You didn't have to. One squeeze? No. Please? If not for me, at least for Cloud? I mean, I am kind of curious. How about this? At the next inn, we treat you to a foot massage. So it's my turn? This one's for you! Why don't you leave the way? Get ahead of ourselves.
This looks like the spot. Let's call him up. Tell him we're here. Cloud! What's our route looking like? Do what I could. Should be fine. Are you sure? Like, really sure? Thanks for that. Sit tight. We'll be down soon. Only way out is through. So buckle up, buttercup. Okay? Uh, 
Uh, better than I thought, actually. Guess Cloud didn't feel like completely screwing us over. <laughs> what a letdown. Still alive. Miraculously, yeah. Uh, who's this? <laughs> Think of him as a tag along. Wait a sec. That is uncanny. I know, right? Meet Cloud Jr. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Jr. Coming? You'll see. Sir Wallace has graced us with his presence. Hmm? Surprised he had the balls to come back, but we're so glad he did. <laughs> <laughs> Heroes welcome. Leave him alone! Don't. What? <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. Word to the wise! Stay far away from that asshole! Where'd our buddies in black get to? Ourselves. 
thinking we could have everything easy. Don't tell me! Get rich quick scheme blow up in your face again? Try to sell out another town, huh? Don't let him talk to you like that. I can take it. Been out of work for ages. Wonder why. I trust you ain't just window shopping. your face here get the hell out of here you sure you're okay with this yeah she a new wife well good for you glad someone got their happy ending sorry tifa just ignore them this place is nothing like it was are we <sighs> hey guys you mind if i pop in for a minute there's someone I want to see. Hmm? In four years, and not a day goes by. When I got hurt back in Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. The doctor here, Sharon, he's the one who saved my life. Oh. You're telling me Doc Sharon's the one who fixed you up? Come on. Be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! <laughs> the hell's gotten into you, man. What's going on? Barrett Wallace. Dr. Sheeran. It's... it's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> That's one frightening looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what though, do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. It hasn't been that long. You heal up all right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Luck and Shinra for that helicopter. I'm sorry, Shinra? I know you might find it hard to believe. But not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. Yeah. Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Oh, right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think you can hold him still for me? <clears throat> uh, 
At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. That is, until I ran some tests. The results were... strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X, soldier. It's not a job, son. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Ha! Huh. Spare a drop? No. <sighs> I ask, because I suspect there's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory for now. And one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones, but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? Shit. <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd too. <laughs> Ain't that something? The girl I saved coming back here with Barrett of all people. I'm sure there's some kind of cosmic significance to that, but hell if I know what it is. <laughs> If there's one thing you can count on, it's Dr. Sheeran. Dr. Sheeran's been distributing meals to the people in town. Says it's because he wants to keep them healthy and out of his clinic. Just between us. So, he's actually been mixing supplements into the... Doc mentioned the gold saucer, right? As in the amusement park, where every day is a holiday? We're going, right? I mean, we have to. Yuffie, this isn't a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Weird mumbling guys, got it. Oh man, this is gonna be so much fun! Town's got a ropeway that'll take us straight there. It's not far. If we're doing this, let's just do it. Figured you'd have moved on by now. Glad you're here in any case. I got a situation. See for yourself. We have one of your robed men. If you want him back, it will cost you one million gil. Agree to the terms, and we'll take care of the rest. What's this? Beats the hell out of me. Guess some fool got it in their head I was making money off my research. You gonna pay up? Look at this place. Can barely afford bandages, never mind a ransom. <sighs> Only option is to save the man myself, or hire the right merc to save him for me. Or the right merc's friend, to be more precise. Who better to hunt down a criminal than someone who's got a nose for tracking? One any human could ever possess. Well, I can't argue with you there. That was easy. So where do we start? What you see is what you get. No hidden codes, ciphers, nothing. But hey, you're the detective. Well, I'm glad one of us is enjoying this. Cloud, the letter, if you don't mind. There's a strong scent, but... Cologne, perhaps? How about that? Picked up the trail already. Ah, which reminds me. There's a compound in our roped friend's sweat that glows when exposed to this light. Just hope it helps some. Kidnapper must not be the sharpest tool in the shed if they think I got money. Y'all seem to have a soft spot for these men. Mind doing one a good turn? Follow me, Cloud. You can actually smell them? My olfactory sense is 7,000 times more sensitive than yours. Bodily secretions are as distinct as any perfume. A single sniff of a person's clothing is enough for me to locate them. Though there are a number of competing smells through which I must sift. Huh. What do I smell like? Hmm. Like a man who's killed his fair share of fiends, I suppose. <laughs> like blood and shit. Not 
Welcome to North Corral. The coal mining industry here was the largest employer and backbone of the local community. But everything changed with the advent of Mako. As you can see, this village is a casualty of progress. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Straight ahead, but... Oh, that's not good. What? Nothing. Let's continue. Oh. Hello there. Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kidnapping. <laughs> oh, You must be hungry, huh? Sorry, but this is people food. Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. <laughs> See a guy in a black robe come through? Hmm. Now that you mention it. It was his one hooded fella, with a chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby.
I'd rather relax in the great outdoors than some hoity-toity beach resort. Now this is what I call a perfectly cooked slab of meat. Oh no, you already got your bit. Though I am a skilled tracker, I have one terrible weakness. What? My appetite. With this overpowering aroma of meat in the air, I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. <laughs> I heard that. Grilled meat is all it takes to throw you off your game? <laughs> Cloud, look. They gotta be close. Time to put the doctor's light to use. On you. Finish them all. Let's do it. Get them all warmed up. found our man, what should we do with his captor? Well, Sharon asked us to rescue his patient. We didn't say anything about how we should deal with the kidnapper. You mean? We'll figure it out later. Understood.
Deal with that. Follow my lead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Over. My turn. Ready? All set. All right. Ready. Good job. Come on. Give her your all. Break it. That's the way to do it.
This is the kidnapper's camp. No sign of them. So, do we wait? Help! Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave! <sighs> huh? Why would we know anything? We were too freaked out to even look at him. The kidnapper could be anywhere. Or anyone. A smell. Cloud, it's them. Shit. Oh, boo! Aren't you a clever little puppy? Sniffing out the truth. Okay, where is he? Think we just tell you? We're not your average criminals, kid. In fact, we're the world's greatest double act. Ellie, the elusive! Bury the brat! <laughs> I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know. With me, with you. Not bad. Let's try that again. Still up for it? What? Uh, uh, hey! 
We told you to stay put! I knew we should have tied him up. Oh, Union. What? Old buddy of yours? Barry, look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. But time ain't on his side. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. <sighs> stay a while! Sure you got lots to catch up on! Suck it, losers! Let him go. We got our man. <sighs> Let's take him back to Sheeran. Glad to see our man still alive. And see for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was gonna have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. <laughs> so, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> well, one of these days I'll win you over. Take whatever beds are open. It's time you moved on. Would you?
will say this much. Uh, oh, don't mind Rolf here. He's just a bit worked up is all. Wait, do you play Queen's Blood? Rolf gets really excited whenever he senses a skilled player nearby. You may find this hard to believe, but he's the world's only T9 competitor. And he's pretty good, too. <laughs> he's saying he wants to go around with you. Well, you game? admit he's pretty good right amazing even rolf is actually scheduled to make his television debut they're doing a special on animals who can play queen's blood and once we get famous we can finally kiss this town goodbye we got this right rolf <laughs> What are you looking at? If you got something to say, then spit it out. Just know that I'm such a badass that even Beck and his bitches couldn't handle me. Kick me out of their stupid little game. That's right. You're standing face to face with the legendary Biff. You shaking in your boots yet? Oh. Uh... Tough guy, huh? Respect. But it seems to me like we got no choice but to settle this with a game of Queen's Blood. And if I whoop your ass, you gotta give me three, no, seven whole gill!
want to know a secret. Truth is, I bailed from the bandit life because I just couldn't hack it. So I... I figured I'd turn over a new leaf and become a Queen's Blood player instead, but turns out I'm no good at that neither. You gotta tell me, what's a trick, man? How do I get your kind of skills? What, don't like handing out free advice or something? Only a real cheapskate would charge for that shit, asshole. Well, better hang on to that gill of yours, cause next time we meet, I'ma take seven off you for sure. This'll take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. <sighs> I told you. I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. We were happy. Covered in soot and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dine. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we had. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let him tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Two 
years later, the reactor was finished, and the trial run went off without a hitch. Everyone was ecstatic, convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. how it's gonna be. Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever. The Gold Saucer! Huh? So turn those frowns upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right? Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. Uh. <laughs> Glad to see we're all on the same page. Ha, ha, ha. 